Hey everyone, it's me Connie, and I'm coming back at you with a comic book haul that I got <clears throat> at a comic show, all-time comic show, as you can see over there, it was on Saturday, August 6th, and I got some goodies, and I got some things signed, and it was just a great old time, but before we get into it, please like, subscribe, hit that notification button to be notified uh, when I post a video. Um, and uh, I responsibly comic and we're gonna have some fun I hope and also to please don't unsubscribe when I post a video because I've noticed that when, every time I post a video I lose subscribers not gain them please just to stay with me and I also want to say thank you to the people who have been with me for the longest time current subscribers and new subscribers Thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying these shows, I hope. And comment down below, you know. Let's, so let's get into it. So as I said, I went to this um, <clears throat> comic show in Punta Gorda, Florida, or I should say Flo Rider. And um, it was pretty good. I liked it. I actually enjoyed it. It was in the big room. I don't know if I had uh, some video on my Instagram if you want to see a little bit of it. And um, it was, I actually had a good time. And guess who was there signing? Amanda Connor. Yeah. And that was fun. That was very interesting. And uh, the right, the, oh man, I, I don't remember his first name, but the, they, Amanda Connor and, how do you say his last, I can't say his last name. It's like really kind of difficult for me. Um, Palmiati, who who was doing Harley Quinn with, you know, he was writing, I guess. Um, <clears throat> he was there too, so they both signed uh, the comics, and it was so so reasonably cheap. It was not. It was like, mm, I mean, it was amazing. So. Uh, for the signatures, for each signature was $5. Yeah, $5. The first item was for free. And if you purchased something on the table, that was, you could get that signed for free too. So, and they were reasonably priced. And I got something also from the table and they signed it. Uh, it was, they were, and they were very nice. They actually sat and talked to you a little bit, you know, and, you know, conversed. They didn't rush. So... You know, they took some pictures if you wanted to take a picture. They were pretty, they were pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> but before I get into the stuff that I had signed, because I had purchased some other stuff, and, and the guy was, the handler was pretty decent. You know, I mean, he, I just had <clears throat> the first item per person was for free. And then after that it was $5 each signature. So... I mean, he was he was pretty nice about it because I had four comic books, and he let me get them all four of them signed for free because I was with my family. So he considered each person, you know, he considered each person uh, a, a freebie. So and then I was also purchasing other stuff there also. So, but but like I said, let me get into. Um, Um, some of the stuff that I had bought, I had, um, so I have the cards for each vendor. I mean, how much is this? It didn't even say. I don't know. So anyway, I know I'm getting off track now. Um, I, I made it a point to take <clears throat> to take a card from each person that I had gone to, except that I didn't take a card from this person. So anyway, let's get into the first set of goodies. I think these were these were dollars. That's probably why they don't have prices on them. 
but some of these things have prices on them. So the first thing I got from one vendor, sorry, my hair's in the way. And here's my uh, old time comic show band. Anyway, so the first book I got was a free comic book, Solo Leveling. Leveling. This was, I think, these were a dollar. Uh, Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man, um, 133. The Fall of the Mutants is coming, so I, I just got it because of, of what that says, but I mean, but look at this. Isn't this cool? It's black and white. <clears throat> it's nice. Detective Comics, uh, 1029, the chilling debut of The Mirror. So, and then this was one of my bucket list books. I probably gonna, you know, I mean, it's, it's in okay condition. Um, I paid $25 for this one, you know, and it's a new stand, 260 Nebula. So, let's see, $25. So all in all, that was that was the first one. I mean, the guy gave it to me for twenty five dollars. He, you know, yeah, he threw in those books because they were a dollar each. <clears throat> so that's that. The second batch now. I do actually have a card for him. Actually, I have stickers and I have a card, but I just, you know, I, I'm going to put these on my, um, my folio. And pretty much I paid cover for these. I have, I bought a couple of those. Anyway, I think I have to put my hair back because my hair is in the way. Like, give me two seconds. Sorry. Ugh. Um, so as I was saying, I paid cover, you know, can never have enough of them and you know I mean he was he was basically doing like super modern like like this week's comic no joke this week because this came out this week um he was doing mostly regular you know modern comics and his shop was recollections comics it was pretty cool um so yeah, the first appearance of Failsafe, uh, Poison Ivy 3, uh, like I said, he's just charging cover price for these. I just, I love this cover, I think this was like a really cool cover. Anyway, and then I got this one because this is Back, Batman Mech, and I don't know if I have, I don't think I got this one, so, and like I said, he's char charging regular. this DC Mech issue one well anyway I thought this was really cool my son probably liked this because he's into Batman so that was that store then I happened to be roaming around next to him not too far from where this the recollections comic guy goes and I got this this was 25 I mean here's his card Jake Crowell Cornwell, Cornwell, I can't get J. Cornwell, and this was 25, but I look at this, look at this, tell me this is not cute, it's the cutest one, I think it's so cute, it's Walt Disney Comics and Stories, it's a, <clears throat> a what do you call it, it's issue number 721, and it's one of those blank covers, and he drew this, They had Donald Duck too. He had he did a Donald Duck one, and I was like, oh, I gotta have that. But I was like, ah, you know. Let me let me just get this one. If I have any extra money, I probably would I would have went back. I actually did, but I didn't go back because I was getting rushed out from the fam. All right. <clears throat> now this.
pretty much here's the card no no this is the guy so this is the guy that i went to where i got most of my harley quinn like my four harley quinn books um record traded so this is the last of the haul um excluding the signatures so i'm going to take out the books that have the signatures on them because i don't you know that, that that's part of the signature thing that'll be the last but this is the last of the hauls um yeah this one this harley quinn here was not part of of the signature stuff so that's why i'm showing it to you this is harley quinn number 27 i just liked it because it's it's cool yoga then um this i paid five dollars for it was a little bit pricey but it is what it is what if general ross had become hulk i don't know why this is i feel like this is gonna blow up i don't know why i just do i paid five dollars uh what if electra had lived and this is the newsstand this is this <clears throat> is a better copy that i have but it's kind of like you see like the it's not the greatest condition but it's a newsstand but it's again you know it's oh and then they had plus what if yellow jacket had died oh and this i paid five dollars for it's not the greatest copy ever um what if avengers what had become poems of Korvac, new stand edition. Again, these are not in great condition, but they're new stands nevertheless. So this is the number 32 of the what ifs. And I paid $8 for that. What if Miles Morales had become Captain America, which I didn't get. And this is a variant edition, number one. And I paid seven. <clears throat> what if the Avengers had become oh I got two of them I got the the regular direct edition why I did I don't know I must have been must have just and I paid I guess I paid five dollars for that <laughs> and then here's the um here's another variant edition of what if Miles Morales had become Captain America it looks like Spider-Man here um, he, obviously he's Spider-Man. I mean, he's, duh. But he's dressed up in he's he's in the Spider-Man costume, and then he's dressed up in Captain America gear. So I still don't have the first one, first first one, but I have the rest of them. This was eight dollars. This is one of another. This is a key issue here, and it's a new standard edition. Avengers number two sixty-seven. This is. The first appearance of the Council of Kangs, and a couple of these Kangs die. Um, so I have a feeling that this is also going to come into play soon at some point. Uh, the way right things are going, and like I said, it's a newsstand. And I paid forty for this. There was no. I tried to deal with him, but he said no, non-negotiable. So whatever. And then this is another bucket list book. Avengers 257, but it's a new stand edition, the first appearance of Nebula. Okay, <clears throat> I know it's not in the greatest, greatest condition, but again, this is a bucket list book, and you know, I mean, I'm probably going to have to get a, I can always get a better copy, but this is like one of those placeholders copies, and I paid 30 for that, so that's great. That was from that place. Now we go into the Amanda Connor stuff. Okay. And <clears throat> so the story goes. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna start putting things on the side and 
showing you. Maybe I'll show you the comics first. And then I'll show you whatever what I Okay, so like I said, I had purchased these these the comic books that I'm about to show you with the signatures are the ones that I just purchased from the person that I just showed you the books from. I think it's Record Trader or something like that. Let me see. I have to get a card. Remember, sometimes I'm bad with names. Um, yeah, Record Trader. So, Record Trader. All right. <clears throat> so, first one is, and these are all signed by Amanda Connor and Palmiati. Palmiati. I can't, I, I want to say Joe Palmiati, but it may not be. I don't. I can't remember his first name, and I know I should look it up and. That, you know, at the time of this, I'm, too, I'm just too excited. So the first one, and these are not key issues. I just, we just picked the covers out because they were really, really, really nice. And, you know, the one that I'm about, the very first one I'm about to show you goes to my youngest. So Abby picked this one out. Harley Quinn, number one. This is very recent, looks like. Be careful what you wish for. And it's like, it looks like almost an homage to, uh, Mad Love ish. This one also looks like an homage, also, but it's in the, uh, you know, could be. Um, Harley Quinn number 14. I was actually looking, I, and this was kind of spur of the moment because we weren't expected to be in Florida around this time. We were supposed to be coming home uh, from New York, but plans changed, so I know. We ended up coming back a week before. I wasn't sure if we were gonna go or not. I could have ordered the books that I really wanted to have signed, which were Harley Quinn Zero and Number Three. Um, but, you know, things happen. What can you do? So here's Harley Quinn at Number 21. Again, they're all signed. I just like the cover. I think it's really cool. Look, 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 it's just the original of Harley. <laughs> Blast from the future. And then Harley Quinn and the Skull Bags, number six. I just thought that was really cool. So like I said, these are just covers that I thought that were nice. And that's all he had available because I really was looking for those other two. And, you know... It just happened that way. So those were the comics that got signed. This is the item that I had purchased from them. This was $10. I actually got two of them. My other, my youngest has the other one. It's the same one. It hasn't changed. And look at the beaver. <laughs> and the only reason why I'm referencing that is because my son, on our way back, wanted to go to Bucky Beaver, uh, Bucky's. <clears throat> to see what it was about and it turns out that Bucky's is a huge huge gas station like they have like hundred pumps I think at least if not more um but that's front and back and then they also have a huge like a warehouse almost type of like convenience store I mean it, it has like everything under the sun you could practically live there um anyway so that's why i said the beaver because he bought the beaver he bought the stuffed animal bucky so anyway he she signed this and the other one the same one like this nothing nothing different my youngest has that anyway so then this last one i have here I have to be very careful because it's marker and it's like that is a toy that I had bought at my comic book store and she was very gracious to sign it um, she signed it right here so this is the DC designer series Amanda Connor this is the holiday Harley Quinn I was looking for like looking for pretty much this one but they didn't have it. Then we had this was the last of them. So, and it's a pretty, it's kind of beat up a little bit, but it is what it is. 
and that was it that's my that was my haul from the old time you know comic show august 6th that was saturday thank you very much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this and take care and bye bye